In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get an Uptime Robot account, which will check your sites and your client's sites to make sure they're online. If they're not online for whatever reason, you'll get a notification. If you have the free account, you get a notification via email. If you have a paid account, you can get it via text message and via email, but the free account's just fine. Either way, it's going to check your sites for Uptime. And I'm also going to show you at the end of this tutorial how to add this to Main WP so that you can manage a whole ton of sites and their Uptimes from one main dashboard. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress, you like learning tips and tricks and hacks and having things made easy for you, then this is the place for you. Start now by clicking subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then when you've done that, check out the hosting deal I negotiated for you for 50% off. This is with InMotion. Every deal is a discount. Some of them are over 50%. Some of them are just 50. Some are under 50. But either way, every plan has a discount. And if you need new hosting for yourself or for your clients or for your dog that wants a new website, check out that hosting deal because it will save you money. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture and start doing some WordPress. Here we are at UptimeRobot.com. This is where we create our account. It's super quick and simple. It takes about 30 seconds. We're going to get to that in just a minute. First, I'm going to show you at the very bottom, there's a pricing link. So there's a free and a paid plan. On the free plan, you can have up to 50 sites that you scan for free. They're scanned every five minutes by the Uptime Robot to check for uptime. If they are down, you do not get an SMS message or a text message, and you have two months of logs. If you want to get text messages or you want to have the site checking be faster, you got to go with the pro plan. It's not that expensive, $4.50. If you buy annually $5.50 per month for 50 monitors, you can go up to a lot, 20,000 sites you can monitor. And of course, that's quite expensive, but hopefully if you have that many sites, you're also charging your clients for the service. And 20,000 times however much you're charging for the service can be quite a bit more than what this is for the month. You do have to have the paid plan for SSL monitoring. So if you need that, you need the paid plan. But I found the free one is good enough for me. And chances are, it, when you, especially when you're starting out, it's going to be good enough for you. So just get the free plan for now and then build on that later. So let's go back to the main page and click on the start button. Now we've got to create an account. So I'm just going to quickly fill in these details. After the details are in, click on sign up. We get a message saying we have to check our email. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here's the email I just received from Uptime Robot. All we do is click on this link here to activate our account. Your account is activated. You can now log in to start monitoring. So let's go ahead and click on the login link and then enter the details we just selected. I have mine in LastPass. So logging in is quick and easy. And here we are on the dashboard. When you first log in, there's going to be nothing here, obviously. So we've got to add a new monitor for the monitor. You select HTTP or HTTPS, give it a friendly name. I'm going to call this WP PhD for our test site. And we type in the URL. Monitoring inter interval every five minutes. You can also extend it if you want to. So for sites that aren't that important, you can go for longer if you want. But I stick with every five minutes usually. There are advanced settings. There's authentication settings. So if you have to require or if someone requires a login to actually see the site, this is where you enter that. SSL settings, if you don't have an SSL, you don't need this option. If you do have an SSL and you want to check the uptime, you need the pro plan. And really that's all you need. And down here you can check alerts to notify. So it goes to the email address you use to create the account. I'm going to check that box to get the email. If you have the pro plan, there would also be an SMS option. That's why they have a type column. This is the email type. You'd have a SMS or text message type if you had the pro plan. Click on create monitor when you're ready. And we can close this. You can keep creating more or you can close it. And here we have our monitor. And now this monitors our site. If you click on it, you get a little dashboard. Nothing yet because it hasn't gone to the site yet. But within five minutes, we should see something here. Down here it says the event has started. And I'm just going to pause for a minute and see if we actually get some, some data back into this dashboard. So that took less than a minute to check. Our current status is up. Uptime, past 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, all at 100%. Here is where you'd see information on any downtime that you have. And you'd see a nice little graph over time showing you downtime if there is any. So you can actually check whether your host is being honest because most hosts say they have a certain amount of uptime. For example, Bluehost, I believe, is 99.9% .9 uptime. And you can actually confirm that with this option. 
And the way you'd usually use this is for clients as an added service to make sure their site is up, especially clients who've experienced problems with their sites going down at random times. This will give notification within five minutes of the site going down or faster if you have the pro plan. And then you can quickly address those clients' needs with getting their site back up and trying to figure out what the problem is. A great way to do that in an automated fashion to make your life easier is using MainWP. MainWP is a full-fledged client management plugin that you can install on any WordPress site. I usually install it in its own solo WordPress site. I've got a tutorial that I link to up above in the card and in the description down below that you can check out. But I'm going to add the Uptime Robot to MainWP and that will allow me to manage things faster. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to hop into my MainWP site. And this is what the MainWP dashboard looks like. There's a lot going on here. And again, this is in a different tutorial, but I'm going to quickly show you how to add the Uptime extension and add this site to the Uptime extension. So if we go down to the extensions here, if we scroll down the extensions page, the very first one is Advanced Uptime Monitor. We can get it for free. Click on Find Out More. That takes you to the main WP page. They make it a little bit painful to actually get the plugin. You have to go through the ordering process and you order it for free, which seems strange, but that's how they do it. Click on Order This Extension for free when you're ready. Now we have it in our cart here. Then go to Proceed to Checkout or click on Proceed to Checkout. Enter some details, just first name, last name, email, and then click on place order. And you can check or uncheck this box about WP main updates or main WP. Now at the order confirmation page, now we can go to my account and the download is going to be in the my account section. Go to my downloads. And now we have our advanced uptime monitor extension here. Click on this download link to download it. That will download to our hard drive. We head back into here and then we go to our plugins. Just as usual, plugins, add new, upload a plugin, get this one from our hard drive. Click on install now and then activate. Then when we go to extensions again. Now if we click on advanced uptime monitor extension, we are taken to a page where we can enter our uptime robot API key right here. We go back to our uptime robot account. And if you scroll to the top, we have a my settings link, click on that. Scroll down, and we're going to create a main API key. There are monitor specific API keys, but the advanced uptime monitor extension does not support monitor specific API keys. So we're going to create a main one by clicking here, then clicking here. And now we have our API key. Click on the copy to clipboard link or do it manually. Paste it in here, and then click on save settings. And now instantly, when we scroll down, we already have information in here. We've had one scan, it's been up, so we're at 100% up. And we have our monitors right here. We gotta do monitor right here through the main WP dashboard, or we can do it from the Uptime Robot dashboard, although we never have to go back here if we don't want to. All the data is now going to be in main WP, and you can, if you have the paid extension for sharing reports with clients, you can now incorporate this into your main WP reports that are automatically sent out to your clients. And you can monitor up to 50 sites on the free plan right in main WP and all of this is free, which is pretty awesome. So I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the hosting deal that's in the description down below, possibly the card up above. And next up, click one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.